Coming up, the Bruder Toys B World 118 scale health station. Stick around. Hello everyone, welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Uh, today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Bruder Toys B World 118 scale health station. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to put together some more of these um these accessory style play sets, you know, so I have some more things to uh, get the characters and figures of, um, you know, the G.I. Joe modern scale figures to, uh, I guess, associate with more. And this I thought would be cool because it has some nice things I can add into a uh, medical center. Um, we do have the Joy Toy uh, medical station. So um, that's nice, but I was I wanted some parts that came with this, you know, specifically this back wall piece here with the monitor, you know, the stretcher, the two thing, and also the wheelchair. I think that's really cool. But um, yeah, so I, I went ahead and picked this up. I uh, got it on eBay. It was about forty bucks. So um, hopefully it's worth it. If it is, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the police station next because it has a jail cell, and that'd be cool to get too. I could always do some stuff with 3D prints, but I figured, you know, why not just try this out first and see how it works. So here it is, and uh, we're going to start with this one. So going over the box, you know, I'm, I think it comes with everything that you see in here. I'm not sure, but I'm sure it comes with all this stuff. As for the figures, uh, the side box right here shows it has this nurse or doctor or whatever. A couple walls, some other pieces in there, gizmos and gadgets. Shows a second figure. Um, we'll get around to seeing that. I know this is a German company, so a lot of this stuff is in German. Uh, I can't really read all that to you. There's some more, you know, how they have it set up to what it, what you're going to expect and what, what it'll look like. Um, a lot of stuff here in German, which I cannot read. And you see the back here, it shows uh, multiple sets together. You know, hey, we have a little mini hospital going on here. Ambulance looks good. Uh, it looks like they're Mercedes. I wonder if they're, um, if they're licensed or not. But regardless, either way, it's cool stuff. So uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and pop this open. But first, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into this. Um, I misplaced Trusty Dusty Kniff. So I'm gonna just use these scissors for now. So we'll slice that open. Get that taken out. And uh, see how everything comes out. All right, so there it all is. Big, uh, big pile of mess here. So we'll see what we can do. Kind of fit that off to the side. All right. Um. I guess you hear you have your little instruction booklet. Maybe. Yes. Let's open it up all fully. It's going to show you all this and that. You know, putting some, putting together some pieces, and it's pretty much like a click and play set. That's what I'm seeing. That stuff. We'll leave this open and off to the side just in case we need it. But uh, let's go over the rest of the stuff here. So here we have one wall. This is um, it's pretty thick. It actually feels like plastic. I thought it was going to be cardboard, but no, it's um, uh, pretty sure that's plastic. So that's cool. But you have a two-tone wall here. You know, looks like something you would see in a hospital or a medical center. You know, make it patient first, whatever. But here you have a chart of a uh, looks like a spine, and um. I think that's hips. You have a clock up here. This side is just basically arrows. So maybe that's this is the outer wall, you know, telling you to go that way to the entrance. That's neat. Um, here you have another book. I guess this is an ordering booklet. It will show you all the type of stuff that they make. Yeah, here we go. A bunch of different things here. Here's that uh, jail cell I was talking about. It looks pretty cool. You have a bunch of emergency vehicles and all kinds of stuff. You know, farm farm equipment and. Lots of farm stuff, some construction th things. And I'm not going to go over all that. If you're interested, just check them out online. Um, just if you're on Amazon, maybe it's probably easier to look up. Just look up Bruder Toys, and they have a whole shop on there. You can see stuff. All right, second wall. So this side says hospital. You know, parking. Of course, it's got that Bruder sign on there. I might take that off somehow, or I just won't use it. And you won't see the side. I'm guessing that's a. Uh, tests and labs and all that that way all right flip it around two-tone wall again 
That sucks that this piece is in the picture. I was hoping that would be an actual, you know, accessory that you got because that would be cool. Uh, the x-ray is cool. Um, you have this gadget here. It just looks like a bunch of plugs or something. Mm. Yeah, there's that. Moving over. Here's the figures. So, wow, these are awkward. I don't like them at all. They are, you know, 118 scale, but I just want to mess around with them and check out their flexibility, mold, mobility, all that good stuff. They don't seem bad. They're just really straight. Kind of remind me of, like, if they were to be, like, upscaled, like, Playmobil toys. Interesting. Hmm. Heads can do full 360s. They're connected down into the body. You know, similar to, uh... How like the retro GI Joes are that uh, Super Seven make, but yeah, here's these. Like um, like I said, I'm not going to use them. I just wanted to show them off. But here's the female and the male. I have a uh, Grand Slam figure over here for comparison, so we'll put them side to side. And uh, these are a bit bigger. You, know, you can see the size comparison right there. So yeah, we're not going to use those. So they'll just go into a fodder box. All right, so this is one piece I did want. So here is a nice stretcher, gurney, you know, whatever you want to call it. So it can rise. The first button you're supposed to click to lower these. Uh, I don't want to break it, but uh, it seems like you just you know, pop it out and pop it up. Bring it back up. There you have it. That's going to be cool. I'm going to bring up this uh, Grand Slam figure again throw him on there yeah that's like perfect they fit perfectly awesome so these are gonna these are gonna work out great we'll get that out of the way we'll bring over the wheelchair so you see it's got some silver tires it's all black set that down we get our grand slam in his seating position and plop him on there and see how he looks and also fits perfectly. Wee! I'm spinning around in the parking lot, popping up wheelies. Wee, 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 wee. Yeah, cool. That looks, that looks good. All right, so yeah, that, that's gonna work out, you know, pretty fine, I think. All right, moving on. Uh, we're gonna open up bag number one. Let's see how we can do this. You know what? I'm not going to toy with this too much. I'm just going to take these scissors and uh, snip that. This is all bundled up. I can't tell if that, how thick that tape is. So I'm just going to cut it. Right, there's that. Empty out this bag. So we got everything. And I will go over everything one by one. So here is uh, the desk. You know, you can see the desk in the back of the box right here. So it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it looks like you are going to have to assemble these, which is I was looking forward to. So it just shows that they're not super cheaply made, but, you know, they actually have some good things you can do with them. Let's see. I think I can pop in here. You know, something like that. sitting up a little high in the front so we gotta try to snap this in there and there there we go, <clears throat> right, there we go. so now that's flush so going over to this part you see the bottom of the chair and the top of the chair and that's just gonna snap in like that so let's bring out grand slam one more time and set him in there and it's a perfect fit. Excellent. Nice. I'm liking it so far. That's good stuff. All right. Move this stuff over. Uh, you see some areas for some drawers. And here's one. Here's a smaller top one. So plop that in there. And here's the second one. And push that in. So cool. You have functioning drawers. And they stop too so they won't just fall out. Good stuff. Cool. I, like, I definitely like the desk. That's awesome. All right, next we have a laptop. So the screen is blank, but there's the sheet here, which is a sticker sheet. 
and you have two different forms on here. So uh, I'm assuming one is gonna go to the laptop and one is gonna go somewhere else up on this, and maybe this monitor right here. Um, we need to get to them first. So I'm gonna put these aside for the for the time being. And um, we have a second bag here, we'll wait on that one. We have this piece, so it looks like you have that part coming off the wall right here, which is like this piece right here. So we'll pick this up, and it looks like the back of this has these little hooks that you can simply slide on and connect it like that. So this right here, snap into place, and there is your monitor that you can turn back and forth. So that's really cool. Uh, you have another lower rack here with hooks. And we'll pop them into the bottom. And I'm assuming that's what the uh, stuff in the second bag is going to do. So again, we're going to put that aside. And um, we're going to go ahead and bring out these walls real quick. So here they are. So this looks like it's going to... Uh, how's this going to go? Let me see. Maybe like this. So that side will go in first. And then we're going to need one for the other end. Which will likely be like this. So we'll put that there. Um, we're going to do this a little different than on the box. Just to get an idea. So I'm gonna put that there so that's holding in. Put this here and then put this piece on the top. So we have our little hospital backdrop right there. We'll bring the uh, the desk in and slide that up against the wall. Put the chair right there. Um, we'll bring the stretcher in, you know, it's like it's getting ready for some stuff. And then we're gonna move on to the other bag here. I'm not going to need to cut this one because that was pretty easy to come off. <clears throat> and we'll look at all the gadgets in this. So first up, you have a cast, like a snap-on cast. So let's see how they work for G.I. Joe's. And it popped right on. And yeah, it's, it's on. So that's cool. Definitely compatible. So yeah, um, he can even bend his leg. So if you want to throw him in the wheelchair, be like, oh man, I got I got messed up, you know? It's like legs all jacked up. There you go, he's got a cast on his foot. So this also has, looks like an arm cast. So we're gonna check that out and pop that on his arm to see how that looks. And it works. Snapped right on. And last but not least, there is a head bandage. So I don't think it's going to fit on because it is a big big. Yeah, it's definitely not going to fit. I think this is me for the uh, for the Bruder toys itself. Because yeah, if you if you have to slide it up on his head, you know it's it's going to fit. But they're also larger. But that's okay. That's one piece that does not fit. That it's not a big deal. So we're not worried about it. Um, I'll slide him out the way. And now let's go over these pieces. So here you have a pair of crutches. And as you can see, they have the. Uh, little pieces here to where you, they can snap onto with the arms and these grips might be a bit big so I don't think they'll fit but we're going to test it out anyway to see what happens and it may may or may not if, if it doesn't I'm not really worried about it it's not a big deal um you better use them for show anyway however well it looks like they are going to work so yeah if you were to put one on each arm I think it's going to work but yeah he's it's holding there he is. It's cool, man. That's actually going to... That's pretty cool. We have these spots on the wall uh, racks here where one can clip in like that. We'll take that back off a of Grand Slam and put the second one on right here. We'll go over the rest of this. And uh, here you have a stethoscope. So it looks like you got the piece right here for the ears. I mean, this is obviously is not going to fit on a G.I. Joe, you know, correctly. But it can stick around their neck. Um, 
is you can bring this piece up and have them hold it like that. Hold it up to somebody's uh, chest or something. You know. This uh, cord, it's still a bit new, so it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty firm still. But yeah, there's that. And then you have this um, looks like temperature gauge, a piece for the arm, so maybe it's a uh, blood pressure. Uh, that's pretty neat. Um, let me see. I'm gonna do this. They have this piece. Looking at the box, just uh, snapped right in here. That, let me spin this around. It didn't go in the exact way I wanted it to. But yeah, we get it in like that. Wrap this tube around. We'll see how that looks. It's, uh, oh, there we go. All right, so I guess we'll move back over to uh, the sticker sheets and um, we'll pop these on. So let's take this bottom one off first. I should be using my, uh, my tweezers for this, but I believe this is going to be the laptop monitor screen. Eh, it's a little, little small for it, but it does work. So we'll get that up on the table right here. And then we'll take the larger sheet bring up this wall rack and this moving monitor and try to get that on there properly which is a little off get a little closer to the edge and I definitely should have brought out my uh, my tweezers for this but I was not expecting to do stickers honestly so now you know and knowing is half the battle so that's on and then we'll um, slide that right onto the top like that move that over give you an idea how everything would look set up Oops. and uh, I guess Grand Slam is actually like kind of taking care of itself you know he's the only one that we have in the shot and that's that so yeah uh, we'll go ahead and um give our final thoughts on this now um this won't go on the turntable it's a little too big for it so uh this is a cool set um i don't know if it was worth the 40 dollars that they were asking um but that seems to be like the cheapest of what they're going for even if you go off you know off uh like ebay or amazon you know to the main site they're even more expensive so it's crazy but um the, they are some some pretty decent accessories. You know, you get the wheelchair mainly, the desk and chair, the wall rack, and the uh, stretcher, plus the smaller accessories. They they are compatible with GI Joe, which is great. Um, yeah, so I think this is going to work out fine. I think I can probably use these walls for something. Uh, I did bring out a couple pieces of joy toy here, so I do have a floor and a wall just to uh, see how these are going to scale with it if I were to use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece back off and that over here and just double check that. And um, unfortunately, they are a bit too big. So what, what's I, what I'm using with the Joy Toy, um, this might have to be a top level or I might have to trim these. It looks like if I were to trim that gray, so I flip it upside down right along where the, uh, the light blue meets the gray, you know, floor, panel, whatever it is. If I were to slice right along that and cut that off, that would fit perfect right in there. It is a little wide, but it's okay. I want to use the one back wall, and I'll bring one over to the side, and I can connect them somehow, especially with that one piece that'll be in the middle. This will come to here, and it'll meet up perfectly. So I think that's going to work. Yeah, I think that's something we can work with. But yeah, so... Uh, Anyways, um, apart from that, this is a pretty cool set. Um, I think it's neat. It's definitely different. It's uh, it's cool to be able to get some other accessories, you know, to include with the, any of the dioramas that we're doing. Um, like I said, I started with this medical stuff because I want to finish up my little medical bay area in the Viper Pit. And um, this isn't going to go for the Joes, but I may end up picking up a second one and um, I'll use it for the Joe base when I get to it. But uh, for now, it's still got... It's a work in progress, but this is what you're going to get. This is what to expect if you do pick one up. So um, I think I'm definitely going to pick up the uh, the, the police station, and um, I'll, I'll review that one next. If I go any further than that, I'm not sure. They do have a, uh, a garage, which might be cool for, you know, maybe like heart wrenchers 
you know, little base of operations with the dreadnoughts when I get around to doing the dreadnoughts part. But um, that's still some time off, but I may pick it up early just in case it ever reports to sell out in the future. But so anyways, that's going to do it for this one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you did, please leave a giant thumbs up, subscribe, tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.